everyone for joining us today. Uh, my name is Brian Gullickson. I'm a manager and technical consultant with Ide Bailey, um, specifically their secure cloud practice. Um, I just recently flipped my one year anniversary here at Ide Bailey, um, but uh, not to date myself too much, but I have a um, 20 plus year career in IT um, across various employers um, in, in various roles. So. Before we jump in today, um, I did want to talk a little bit about the term digital transformation. I know that we've all been inundated with that term specifically over the last uh, three to four years. But when I talk to clients, I often hear that term equated to um, simply moving your IT infrastructure to a cloud platform like Microsoft, Google or Amazon, for example. Um, and while this process is often part of a company's digital transformation, um, that really isn't the true definition of what digital transformation means. Um, and so today I'm hoping that you'll walk away with a better understanding of what digital transformation really means and how to create and implement um, a transformation plan. So with that, we will dive right in. So Gartner has created a model um, where they've looked at the amount of IT spend um, and they've basically categorized it into three different categories, those being run, grow, and transform. Um, and what I wanna call out here is the first two categories, run and grow, um, actually make up on average more than 87% of corporate IT spend. That's a significant portion. Um, and specifically uh, for those of you that have joined us that um, manage IT spend budgets, you probably know this firsthand. So the transform um, category is less than 13% on average. So I just wanna take a moment and talk through these different categories. So the run category is obviously um, everything involved with operating and maintaining the, the current business. Um, so usually uh, you'll hear this referred to as business as usual, keeping the lights on um, or sustaining IT spending. And these are expenses that don't really directly increase the company's revenue. Um, they don't really achieve any new uh, business goals, for example, for the company, but they do maintain essential functions. Um, and obviously they do deliver IT efficiency um, at the appropriate quality and price for performance. So you can imagine that this, uh, again, makes up a large part of IT spending. Um, the good news is, is that as companies grow more dependent on their IT department, um, it is pos possible to distinguish these operations from activities needed to grow or transform the business. Um, so the core functions in the run category um, are typically things that are non-discretionary and usually they're a fixed cost uh, or expense. So some of those examples, uh, for example, would be your infrastructure and operations. Um, maybe you have uh, security, regulatory or compliance uh, fees or expenses. Um, just supporting the business, right? Being able to make sure that people can use the IT infrastructure and technologies that you are um, providing, as well as IT financial management and application maintenance. So think about it um, a, 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 from an easy perspective as, um, the things that you absolutely must maintain in order to operate your business. Now, if we switch over and, and, and think about the grow category, right? This is um, IT spend that's allocated to enhancing or expanding the business. Um, and this is specifically about developing and enhancing IT systems to support business growth. Typically, we see this as um, organic growth um, or it, it can be directly related to things like business process improvement. So they extend these existing capabilities. They deliver di differentiation and provide competitiveness in the marketplace for your organization. Obviously, companies that want to expand their market, um, their revenue or their influence, they must um, expand their products and services to do that. And so the overall business strategy in the grow category is therefore focused on growing the business, not just maintaining or keeping the lights on, as we said earlier. And so to, to support this particular business objective, um, CIOs must ensure that there are appropriate capabilities within IT um, to build on its operational foundation. 
and enhance the opportunities for growth. So this is typically reflected in um, uh, increased discretionary spending. And it's usually on things like uh, capital projects, um, upgrading technologies, for example, um, and working with other stakeholders on um, business process improvements. So to provide these capabilities, many CIOs have to focus on developing um, those essential grow functions, which would be investing in things like business process analysis, right? Being able to identify um, and prioritize the processes that can be improved. And then things like um, standing up a, a project management organization um, or specifically looking at steps um, to improve project management across the organization. There's also things like um, solution and application architecture. So improving the um, existing architecture to allow for that growth. And then um, obviously things that impact the supply chain. So sourcing and procurement are usually um, big areas for growth as well for many organizations. And then lastly, uh, if we look at the transform category, which again is uh, typically less than 13% of that spend, this is the um, a spend that's aimed at implementing new IT systems. Um, and that really enable the, the organization to enter new markets um, or address new customer segments, um, create new value propositions, or enable new business models. So um, you can imagine that this particular category is definitely high risk, um, but it's also usually a high reward if you are successful. So as, as companies mature in uh, this new digital age, right, the expect, expectations of IT uh, from the enterprise typically evolve significantly. So transformational companies are looking at IT to deliver this new innovation, um, create new sources of revenue, explore new markets, um, and develop new products and services, right? Because that's uh, obviously how a, an organization grows as a company. And CIOs can't meet these objectives by focusing only on the things, um, you know, that, that are needed to keep the lights on um, or operational growth capabilities. They have, to, they have to work hand in hand with other business leaders um, to ensure that, I, that IT has the capabilities uh, to support all of these transformation activities. So the biggest takeaway from this slide is really to understand the definitions of, um, or the differences, I should say, between the grow category and the transform category. And of course, um, the bigger challenge is to identify how your organization can transform.